and I always thought deer saw in black and white. This is In Through the Outdoors, and I'm your guide, Chase and Walter. I stand corrected. Maybe that camo pattern that's a favorite of yours isn't really doing the job you think it is. Similar to Dude Renopia, where blue is easily seen, but green, red, and orange, yes, even blaze orange, are more like a shade of gray to brown, and your blaze orange vest might look more like mustard. So you may want to rethink your camo shirt, blaze orange vest, and blue jeans, or even your camo pattern if you're trying to disappear into the background. I read a number of articles on the subject, and each has their own take on how deer see, so it gets confusing. But this seems to hold true. While deer really do not concern themselves with color, they do, however, care about movement. So if you're trying to hide, the most important thing to remain camouflaged is zero movement. You may think you're being sneaky, but the wrong camo pattern with a light background or even a little white or light gray or tan will set you apart from your surroundings and greatly diminish your odds of bagging that big buck. I'll share a comparison photo on the In Through the Outdoors Facebook page so you can get an idea of how we see it. Regardless, the next time I climb into a tree stand, I'll truly reconsider the surroundings and try not to move a muscle. Easier said than done. I'm Chase and Walter, and that's In Through the Outdoors. Find more on Facebook, YouTube, and at chaseandwalter.com. Thanks for listening. I don't know about you, but I like saving money. If you shop Camo Fire on my website at chaseandwalter.com right now, you could save 30 to 70% on hunting gear. Remember Camo Fire, daily hunting deals so big you'll get trigger happy. I'd love it if you follow In Through the Outdoors on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram. Download the podcast, and if you enjoy newsletters, subscribe to the caster for original ITTO content and outdoor news at chaseandwalter.com.